<sighs> Hello everyone, it's Rachel, Radical Soul Untangled. Uh, yeah, I just finished my like sixth round of kickboxing and I am loving it. A uh, weird little synchronicity is I'm wearing this shirt and I can tell it's like a spoof off of Frogger. Chicken in the road uh, joke tied into it, or chicken crossing the road joke tied into it. And I've had this shirt for like probably over a decade. <laughs> Um, and I wore it today and I wore it to kickboxing and there was a different instructor I hadn't worked with yet and she had us doing drills called Frogger. So I just, fun little synchronicity there. But um, yeah, it's kind of interesting that, you know, I think it might be funny to some people to hear somebody who's like a, a spiritual guide and uh, it's into spiritual, spirituality and metaphysics now. Um, is doing kickboxing, you know, like, especially if, you know, my focus is on relationships and, uh, it's like, well, that, that sounds like you got pent up aggression, you know, or things like that, or, you know, or working out pent up frustrations, which is why I think a lot of people work out. Um, but for me, it's not like that. It's rarely ever been like that. If, um, I don't think I've ever liked working out because I was frustrated. I usually found working out frustrating. Um, so it's like, I can't, I can't do it if I'm in a frustrated place. Um, however, I, and I don't do it like at a com competition. I don't like to compete with other people. I like to, I guess, put it like I'm competing against my own limitations. You know, I like feeling my body get stronger. I like feeling my body, like, put on muscle <laughs> and I put on muscle very quickly. Um, I, I like, um, feel like I can count on my body and it's also, there's an inter integration aspect. Let's see if I can balance out my steering wheel because my arms are so tired. <laughs> um, but there's like uh, integration with like the, the, um, the masculine and the feminine templates and this and a lot of spirituality, how it's practiced now, especially um, since a lot of the field's dominated by women, and there's nothing wrong with that, but there's a, a lot of focus on building the feminine energy, and that is necessary. But sometimes, this is where I got in my process, it's like, okay, I am I'm, I'm, I am receptive. I, I'm receptive enough. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm open to receiving enough, but I'm, I wasn't, didn't feel much urge to do anything, you know? And that's that's fine because that's what happens when you tap into your feminine, you're open to receiving, but you're not really in a doing state. And so I find that the kickboxing and, and you know, more than yoga, cause I was doing yoga for a bit and I was running for a bit um, until I got some ten, um, Achilles tendonitis flaring up. But um, and I had to stop that. And then I worked on physical therapy and uh, just getting in touch with, you know, how to hold my body in different ways, you know, and stretch in different ways. So I wouldn't injure myself. And then that's very good. I did physical therapy before I got into kickboxing. Otherwise, I would probably just be going ham on everything and flailing and not being not paying not being mindful and paying attention to my form. And I'd probably have like, you know, strained or sprained something by now. But I'm trying to I'm very conscientious about my form and pacing myself. because uh, again, it's not a competition against anyone else but me. <laughs> and um But yeah, that there's something about hitting something, you know, because I don't want to hurt anyone and I don't want to hurt myself, but there's something about hitting something, you know, that I'm this spiritual energetic entity that created and is inhabiting this body. And then I, that spiritual energy commands this body to hit something. And then that thing moves. I don't know. It's just very cool. It's like, um, to think of it that way for me, it's very empowering in a totally different way of just thinking of it as improving my physical fitness. It's me. It's like, for me, it's integrating the, the duality of, of the spiritual and the physical world. Um, you know, if that makes sense. I mean, it makes sense. It makes sense to me, and I'm sure it makes sense to whoever's watching this. And if it doesn't, maybe it'll make sense to you someday. But, uh, but yeah, there's just something. And 
it just also reminds me of how powerful my will really is because I've always played myself small to fit into other people's lives because I did not know how to direct myself. I didn't give myself a sense of my own sense of purpose and direction because I was afraid that that would, could put me in conflict with other people and that I couldn't take care of myself because I have ADHD. I can't, I, I'm not, I'm not punctual. I'm not um, tidy. I'm not well organized. Uh, I'm bad with managing my time. I procrastinate a lot. Like all these executive function disabilities. And, uh, and so I can't take care of myself. So I need somebody who can manage those things for me because I'll never be able to manage those things is what I kept telling myself over and over again. And so I can't have my own goals, my own direction, because what if it puts me in conflict with the person that's supposed to take care of me, that I need to take care of me. So I'll just want what they want. I'll just do what they want me to do. I'll just support them as best I can until I burn out or resent them for it or what have you. Because eventually I get not just frustrated, but angry. <laughs> um, not just resentful, but angry. And I become angry at myself because then the, the self-sabotaging kicks in because I'm not doing what my soul is telling me to do. So the kickboxing helps, you know, at a contact sport, you know, you know, better, more so than yoga. Yoga helps ground you in your body and it, and it, that's very conducive to opening your, you know, um, integrating your feminine energy, you know, so I'm not downplaying yoga. I still do some yoga poses and it keeps you mindful of like how your body is in space, you know, um, and I still do weight training, you know, that help. I like the feeling of actually building up the muscle mass, you know, and you know, lifting something heavier and heavier every time. I love that. Um, but the kickboxing gives you a real sense, gives me a real sense of my power, my power, not just as a physical being, but as a spiritual being. Um, and it just, it, it reminds me, I could just slam into obstacles and I can power through them. You know, I'm, there's heavy ass bag. I can move it with a punch. I can move it with a kick. And every day I move it a little bit further. I can hit a little bit harder and a little bit faster. Um, so I'm really, I'm really loving it. <laughs> and, um, and like I said, it's not so much about the physical results. And it's definitely for me, never about hitting things to deal with my frustration. Um, but it's just, it's that, and it activates my divine masculine or my inner masculine template, my doer, my warrior, the one that gets things done. Because, you know, that actually seeks out the opportunities or networks to get the opportunities that, to come in and then be, and then my feminine's receptive to those um, opportunities. Uh, but I still have to go out and I have to, still have to do something. I can't just wait for things to automatically come to me. There's there's a degree of that. And that does just sometimes happen. Where all of a sudden I just have this magical day where like everything just seems to go my way. You know? And all I've done was just feel very receptive to things. Feel very open to things. feel, um, And then all of a sudden it's just like gifts pop out of nowhere. You know? From people. Or you know opportunities come up or things like that so I do have days like that and then there's but then there are times where it's like I need to make things happen I need to otherwise I'm set at other people's paces um and so if I want to accelerate that pace then I've got to do something <laughs> so anyway yeah that's why um this spiritual person likes to hit shit <laughs> and um and it's 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 been a lot of fun so um I'll keep you guys posted um let me know what you think in the comments I'm Rachel a radical soul untangled take care